What's happening guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about shooting on the dance floor at a wedding, event, nightclub, it's all the same. When you're talking about dragging the shutter and getting the blurry lights like in these photos here. We're gonna go through all the settings you need to change in your Sony cameras. This will apply to all cameras but the terminology may change a little bit per brand when you're talking about rear curtain sync but the concept is the same. Today I'm using just my cheap Godox flash. This is uh, nothing special, it's just a Godox TT 685 no sort of really expensive flash is needed for this and you really don't even need something this powerful now the whole concept with this technique is to use a really slow shutter speed so you can sort of wave the camera around or turn it however you want to get the effect to get the lights that are in the background dragging and then you just use the flash at the last minute to pop it straight in the face and that just freezes the action and you get a nice sharp image in terms of your subject. Anyway, let's jump straight into it. So first we're gonna talk about lenses because it really matters when you're talking about getting right in there in the dance floor and getting those really dramatic shots. So I usually default to about 16 to 20 mil on my 16 35 G Master lens but you can do it anywhere up to 35 mil is sort of where I'd push it at the limit. 24 mil is great, no worries there at all, but the idea is you just want something that's quite wide angle. So once you've got your wide angle lens on there, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and fix your flash on. Now you just need a speed light, it doesn't need to be TTL. So you really don't need anything really expensive or fancy. Even a Nikon or a Canon flash will quite often work on a Sony camera or other cameras, as long as you just have that one pin in the middle. So if I show you this one here, all you really need is that little pin, the center pin here. If you've got that pin, then you're pretty much good to go with any kind of manual flash. It's really important with these Sony cameras, I found you need to tighten it down quite well because they have those funny connections in the Sony flashes. It's not like all the other sort of DSLR flashes. So make sure it's really tight and it'll stop it from misfiring or anything like that. Now in terms of flash settings, I pretty much just use manual and I would start at about quarter power to an eighth power and just go from there. You don't really need to use a high ISO because you're using the flash and you want a slow shutter speed anyway. So I suggest starting around half a second as a really good shutter speed to begin with and just sort of play around with that. It shouldn't affect your exposure too much on the subject themselves. In terms of ISO, I usually have it set to about 200 and you can adjust it from there. Remember, ISO is gonna change your power and your flash and your background exposure. So just go with a low one and you know just adjust your flash accordingly. If your flash isn't really powerful, then maybe go with a little bit of a high ISO because you don't really wanna have your flash set to full power because what that's gonna do is just stop the recharge cycle being quick. So you'll take a shot and you'll have to wait three seconds four seconds depending on your flash before you can take another one so about quarter power to an eighth power is a pretty good sitting ground to just hang out in in terms of aperture you're going to want to stick around f7 to f9 now what i do with that because you have such a wide depth of field with a wide angle lens i just switch it over to manual and once you've got it in manual focus with your sony cameras it'll actually bring up a focus distance chart on the bottom of the lcd screen and you just want to set it manually to about one meter to two meters. What that's gonna do is give you pretty much everything in focus from a meter in front of you all the way to the back of the dance floor. So you don't need to worry about focusing in low light. You can just set it and forget it, start waving your camera around and shooting away. Now the next thing you're gonna to need to do is put your camera in rear curtain sync. Most cameras that I know of, like Nikon and Sony in particular, are called rear curtain sync. I think Canon might be a little bit different, but just look for something in your manual if you can't find it. But the concept is rear curtain sync. That's what you need to set your flash to. So what that's gonna do is fire your flash at the end of the exposure. So for example, if you have a one second exposure, you're gonna press the shutter, your shutter is going to open and then at the end of that one second your flash is going to fire and freeze all that action in front of you so that all that one second at the start is going to be blurring all the lights and getting all the crazy effects and then right at the end it's going to just freeze the motion for you. So that brings me to the next point, you really need to just blast the flash straight into the faces of the people dancing. Um, sometimes I have it angled up a little bit like that and that gets you the sort of dark effect at the top and the bottom of the frame. But you just wanna be sitting about here or just straight directional. Now to get the really cool light effects, it's pretty much literally just waving your camera around. And then I'll just try experiment with different movements. So I'll click the shutter like that, turn it, and then by the time the flash goes off, my camera is horizontal 
and ready to fire or you can just press the shutter and then sort of wave your camera around and that will get you that sort of real blurry effect so get a wide angle lens guys there's a whole bunch of stuff considering you don't need something autofocus um, for all of these cameras like canon nikon sony you can get a 14 mil 2.8 samyang lens for about four hundred dollars i think new zealand uh, and it's super cheap over in the states wherever you might be you know you don't need autofocus so just something like that would be really awesome or the 28 mil sony just look at all your cheap options in terms of wide angle lenses get right in the middle of the action and just start waving your camera around like a madman and that's going to get you those shots so just a quick recap guys like i said you're going to use rear curtain sync your shutter speed is going to be around about half a second iso around 200 to 400 you could probably even go lower depending on the power of your flash and have your aperture set to about f 7.1 to f9 and manual focus to a meter in front of you and like i said that's going to let you get everything in focus so you don't even need to worry about low light focusing if your camera's not very good at it and it just looks great so get into it guys go get a wide angle lens and get into the dance floor so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video